Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, hate um, independent scentsy consultant, back with you again today for my January melting basket challenge. Um, I got smart. <laughs> he has last month they got all discombobulated again in my basket. They didn't know what was what and um, trying to get over illness, so I I I got smart and I wrote it all down. <laughs> So this is um, something that Kentucky, Kentucky Waxy Girl Angie started um, and then she took a break and Patricia Gates has taken over. So thank you Patricia for taking this over um, and helping us with prompts to make it fun, to help us get through some wax, help us melt some things that we wouldn't normally pick um, or things that we look over. I know I appreciate that. So it's so much fun doing these and being creative. So. Um, you guys follow along if you can, if you want to. Um, I am a mood melter. So the way that I do this is I, I pick for the prompts, but I put it all in a basket and I melt what I feel like that day. Um, I don't necessarily do what it says on that day, but it is all in my basket and all using all of the prompts. It's just I pick what I want as I want it. Um, that's the way that I can follow it as a mood melter. Otherwise I would probably be miserable. Um, so forgive my illness, um, bear with me. <clears throat> so on January, hopefully you guys follow along and do this too. I'm anxious to see what you guys pick, but January 1st, happy new year's. Melt a fresh style scent for a fresh start. Um, I picked, um, Sunsy's Arctic Kiss. I've been anxious to melt this one. I love this. This is one of my favorite fresh scents ever so beautiful it's so creamy it has like a honeydew melon like a creamy fresh air very cozy but fresh I love that one and you guys I went heavy last month and I got everything but two done plus all my bring back my bar plus the collection so I just don't want to stress out as much so I'm not going as crazy as I did last month um and I've just picked one or two per prompt instead of like three or four. Um, and then it says, melt a new to you scent. So I picked from, I haven't melted any of these yet from Knowles Farms. Um, Knowles Farm Scents. Um, so I picked Fairylicious Evergreen. I'm anxious to try this one. This is Blackberry and Sugared Spruce. And then on the third is Warm a Sleepy Style Wax. And I picked um, Sleep Tight from Sassy Girl Aroma. Just have to find it. It's the one on the bottom. <laughs> um, this is Lavender, Chamomile, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Sleep Tight, so that's a Sleepy Style Wax. Um... And then on the fourth is melt a scent for when you are snowed in. So I picked two for this one. Um, I picked from Knowles Farm Scents. I figured Knowles Farm Scents. Um, rustic Cookie Cabin would be fun. This is sugar cookie dough bread and roasted pine cones. I figured if you're snowed in on a cabin, you want some sugar cookie dough bread and some pine cones. Um, and then I also picked from Scentsy one of my bricks, some Forever Flannel. I love this. This is such a pretty scent. It's cozy. I almost get coconut. Oh, it's, if you like um, jammy time, snuggle up, um, fuzzy blanket, woolly slippers. This is right in that same vein. If anything, it's more woolly slippers. I just smell that my empties. It's got some serious woolly slipper vibes. Um, to me, anyway. <laughs> um, so that's Forever Flannel. This isn't my club. This is the one bar that I have to club. I think I club them all for now. Don't know that they'll all stay, but this one I definitely love. Um, it's a good performer. Um, that one is. And then on the fifth, on a diet, melt something bakery. So I picked... Um, Rose Girls Baked Blueberry Bramble. I got this from my friend Lori. And this is a warm and rich blueberry bakery. This is Yomo. <laughs> uh, so looking forward to that one. 
Where is that one? Oh, I remember. Okay. Um, and then Cuddle Up Day on the 6th is co or Melt a Cozy Scent I Picked. Let's Get Cozy from Noel's Farm Scents. Can you tell? I <laughs> melt his wax. This is Cocoa Butter, Cashmere, and Palo Santo. And this is so lovely and cozy and pretty. So I'm looking forward to that. On the 7th is Melt a Wax You've Been Meaning to Get To. Um, it's a sassy girl. Um, I want to melt all my sassy that I haven't tried yet. Um, this is, let's get, or no. Cuddle by the Fire. Um, this is what I've been meaning to get to. This is Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire, Sugar Cookies, Hazelnut Marshmallow Fluff, and Lattes. Sounds delightful. <laughs> and then... We Are Soldiers from Sassy Girl Roma. This is bourbon, vanilla bean, dough, cinnamon, and sugar. I want to see if I like this. I'm, again, I'm starting to decide. I'm not 100% sure I love cinnamon sugar, which is weird. Um, but it depends on when I warm them because sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I want to see if I want that one. Um... <clears throat> Melt a red wax for January birthstone. I picked this wax because it's red and I want to get through it. I don't like it. <laughs> Gryffindor from Sensi. Um, bravery and determination. It's smoky. It almost has like an ever so slight like liquid wood smoke or an ever so slight beef jerky to like a berry kind of a... I just need to get through that one. Um, so looking forward to getting through that one. Pick it on a day when I won't be in that room that much. Um, and then um, melt an apricot scent or a scent that starts with A. Well, at first I was like, I don't, I looked through everything. Did not look through my <laughs> December melting basket. It's like I don't have an apricot scent. Like I, ax I um, actually dropped apricot vanilla from my club thinking it'll come back. So I don't have one. Um, but this has apricot in it. This is Holiday Market. It's winterberry, apricot, orange peel, chilled air, winter bouquets, soft gingerbread treats, balsam fir wreaths, spruce, garland, and mossy woods. Um, so it does have the apricot. Um, and it's like a nice holiday market, Christmas store kind of a feel. Um, I also picked one that started with A because at first I didn't see that one. Um, and this one looks like fun. Um, this is Abel's Mint Cookies. This is sugar cookies with a creamy peppermint, vanilla, and sweet chocolate baked to perfection. And if you notice, I have a couple of these chocolate mint ones. So it's <laughs> on that day, I'll probably do a whole bunch of them. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> so looking forward to that. Um, then on the tent it says, <clears throat> melt a by the fireplace, melt, and I picked Noel's Fire Scents, treats by the fireplace. This is sugar cookie royale, sweet bakery dough, and zucchini bread, and by the fireplace. And this is so yummy and cold. I can't wait to warm it. And then on the 11th is warm and creamy scent. So I picked from um, Scentsy Vanilla Cream. Hopefully I don't sneeze. Sometimes these make me sneezy too. <laughs> and, um, my nose itches. Um, this is the one vanilla scent from Scentsy that I, well, besides vanilla bean buttercream that I can smell really, really well. Um, it's like a, kind of like a basic vanilla, but it does, it performs so well. My nose doesn't struggle to pick it up. It's just creamy and it's beautiful. And sometimes you just want a lovely, beautiful vanilla scent. It's perfect for company. So I have this in my club, so I'm anxious to warm that again. Uh, and then I have some left over for my bring back my bar, luckily. 
It says melt something with almond or cherry. So I picked um, Amaretto by Sunsea. I'm going to bring back my bar coming out in January. Um, to me, it's like a beautiful cherry almond scent. I love that one. Um, I want to club that one. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, on the 13th. It says, <clears throat> excuse me, one sec. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it says, use your favorite warmer to melt your favorite wax. So my favorite warmer from Sensi is the Diamond Milk Glass Warmer. Um, it's only $35. Hopefully they don't raise the price of that <laughs> because I want to get like two more. One in this room, one in that room. I love, love, love that warmer. I love Element Warmers. Um, I think that they extend the life of a wax. I think that they warm really well. I never turn them off. Um, so I love, love, love that warmer. It fits a ton and it goes with any decor because it's like white porcelain. And I picked Snuggle Up to go with that one. Um, I have these six cubes. Um, I got this from Shannon. I can't read your last name. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is like my favorite Scentsy scent, I think, ever. <laughs> I really love this scent. It's in my club still, um, so I'm anxious to melt that. I always do that in my bedroom, lasts like a week. <clears throat> and then it says, on the 14th, melt a scent you didn't get to in December. So I picked um, Fertastic Marshmallow Dreams from Knowles Farm Scent sense um this is pine fir buttercream sugar cookie marshmallow and sugar um that one's very sharp to my nose on cold um travis let me know that it that the um other scents come out on warm so i'm hoping that that one isn't sharp to me because i know like some of the sassy girl ones i tried Cookies under the, cookies under the Christmas tree. Cookies under the Christmas tree and I wish for Christmas. Those have like a bakery um, tree and those are really good. I love those. So I'm hopeful um, that I'm going to like that one. And then I also picked um, one that I wanted to melt in December and get a chance to was Christmas tree cakes from Saskar Roma. This is buttercream frosting and almond cake. Oh, this is an almond one too, <laughs> appropriate. Um, I was just anxious to see how that smells on warm. So I absolutely love, 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 and it's not Christmas time without <laughs> little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. I have a shirt, I have earrings, I love them. <laughs> um, I do not need them, but I love them. Um, I have my cross, my shirt. Anyways. I mean, it's tissue. I don't know. Um, on the 15th, melt something starting with M, L, or K. So, I picked the M. Um, and I picked Rose Girls Mojo Dojo Casa House um, for Rose Girls. This I got from my friend Lori. Um, this is stainless steel, smoked vanilla, tobacco, and oud. And I just think that sounds so fun this time of year. So I'm anxious to melt that and try that one. Um, on the 16th, melt a scent you think a cleaning lady would endorse. I picked one of my all-time favorite Scentsy scents. Um, I love this. It's in my club. Hopefully I don't lose it. Because <laughs> I really, really love Pima Cotton. Um, oh, this is such a pretty... I know people think this, I love laundry if it's not sharp. This is a pretty soft, florally laundry. Um, to me, it's a lot like um, windowsill breeze. And I just think it's beautiful. It's not strong to me. I think it's actually very soft. I do the whole thing. Whereas, um, I tried that once with the, uh, no. I tried three cubes of clothesline from Scentsy. Way too much. <laughs> way too much like clothesline is so strong um and that's like softer and airier to me i just i love pima cotton um 
And sometimes after all the heavy scents, you want something fresh and clean and refreshing. So I think laundry scents are great. On the 17th, melt something boozy. So I picked White Worm from Sassy Girl Roma. This is butterscotch, sweet vanilla bourbon, and a touch of bakery. This is like the most creamy, beautiful butterscotch in the whole wide world. I love that. And then on the 18th, melt a, a mint or eucalyptus scent. <laughs> melt a mint or eucalyptus scent. So I picked First Snowfall from Sassy Girl Roma. This is crisp. Snowy morning peppermint eucalyptus release an intoxicating aroma of pure winter bliss. Oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. So I'm anxious to. I did melt that once. It's pretty. <laughs> I can't melt it again. Um, and then Cassie loved this one. Took some of it. <laughs> or did she? No, I don't think she took first snowfall. I think I melted that one. Um, but this one she took some of. So this was Cassie approved. <laughs> Um, on the 19th, let family friend, family or friend pick your wax. So, um, per Cassie's love, York Mint from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is peppermint, chocolate, dairy notes, and vanilla. So that'll go on my chocolatey day, <laughs> chocolate mint day. And, um, it's snow. I did this based on it snows in our area. I mean, it's not like I live in Florida where it doesn't really... It's not like I live in Florida where it doesn't really snow. Um, so I picked this based on it snows in my area. So it says on the 20th, snow in your area, melt a white wax, no snow, pick something green. Well, I picked from Teddy B's um, Valkyrie. This is cashmere cream, vanilla snowflake, bath and body works type, and Palo Santo. Um, I thought that would be a really pretty one this time of year. And then on the 22nd, it says, <laughs> Um, melt any warm drink scent. I told you it's a chocolate cocoa, kind of a chocolate mint kind of a day, or kind of a, I don't know, like <laughs> what I got going on here. So I pick lavender and speckles Christmas cocoa. This is sweet peppermint, vanilla, dark chocolate, cinnamon, sugar, donuts. So I'm anxious to try this one um, from lavender and speckles. And then the 22nd is mix it Monday. Try to match colors. So I picked um, two favorites and they're pretty darn close. Um, I picked from Scentsy, who, who does the best job on pretty darn close colored, well, lavender and speckles, it's always white, that's amazing. <laughs> but Sassy Girl, good luck trying to mix those colors. Um, or find similar colors. But so I went, I went with Scentsy with two, that's like my favorite color in the whole world is aqua. Um, so I picked Pacific Mist and Down the Aisle, and I smelled these together, and they say they're, it's like it's gonna be really pretty. So like Pacific Mist, you get this sweet, beautiful, fresh air kind of a smell. Kind of like a salty sea air, Kleenex tissue smell. And then Down the, the Aisle is the prettiest floral in the whole wide world to me. Oh, and I think they're gonna be magical together, so I'm anxious to do Pacific Mist and, um, I don't want to forget to keep those together. Um, Pacific Mist and Down the Aisle from Cincy. So it's nice just to try that mix. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, pie Day, the 23rd. Um, melt any pie wax. Well, I have a partial clam, so my goal next year is to um, use up a whole bunch of my partial clams because I'm like, I can't. <laughs> they drive me crazy. So um, I found a partial claim of red, white, and berry pie. So I'm using up this one um, from Scentsy. And then on the 24th, melt a scent you get compliments on. Everybody loves in the house. Um, Dale always compliments it when I melt it. I love it. Eric likes it. Um, Compliments on banana nut bread from Scentsy. It's in my club. Um, it's authentic to me when it's when it's melting and it's phenomenal. Cassie likes this one, even though she won't be here. <laughs> um, then on the twenty fifth, it's this one. Yeah. <clears throat> Warm scent, frosty to snowman light would like. I picked frosty air. <laughs> 
This is laundry. To me, this is windowsill breeze, though. Even more than Pima Cotton, this is windowsill breeze. Like, if I didn't know any better, I would think these are identical. I wish I still had windowsill breeze to prove it. I do have washer whips. Um, you guys, that's, I swear, it's almost identical <laughs> to windowsill breeze, and I love this. And I think Frosty would prove it's Frosty name and everything else. Um, on the 26th, melty scent that makes you think of Australia. I tried to find my, um, wallabies, and I think I put it in my vendor event and someone bought it. Um, so I picked my Aussie Plum. Um, this obviously Aussie <laughs> makes me think of Australia, and this is my last bar. Um, so I'll be melting my Aussie Plum. It's appropriate time of year. Charlie, you can't see him looking out the window. He's super cute. <laughs> Um, okay, so I want to also pull, I'm going to do two for this one. One is, um, Sassy Girl Aroma. Well, they're both Sassy Girl Aroma. One is, um, number 540. It's a Baccarat Rouge dupe. I haven't melted that one yet, and I'm going to pull that from my stash. I haven't done it yet. Um, so my apologies about having to send notes. Um. And I also did Lolita. And I know that Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris loves this perfume. Um, and it, she said it's a good dupe. Um, I forget the name of the actual perfume. Um, but I know it's a dupe and she loves it. <laughs> and I've never melted this one yet. This is um, Lolita. It's Star Anise, Violet, Ivory, Licorice, Cherry, Iris, Forest Root, Amaryllis. Vanilla, pralines, tonka bean, musk, and vetiver. So I'm anxious to melt this. And then, oh no, no. Um, right? No. Charlie, you can't go through that way, you goofball. Charlie, you can't fit. Sorry, he's trying to go through the wrong of the chair. And because Creamy's there, he can't get back. <laughs> Sorry, cats are funny. Um, oh, they're super cute. Cre like Charlie loves, loves, loves creamy. Wherever creamy goes, Charlie is. <laughs> they're like, it's like Charlie's creamy shadow. Um, sorry, they distract me. On the twenty eighth, is melted blueberry or pancake scent. And yes, I have a blueberry scent in there too from the other one, blueberry bramble thing. Um, but this is um melted blueberry or pancake wax. We were pancakes from Scentsy. <laughs> um, this bar I got from Letitia Patel. Patel? Letitia? Letitia. <laughs> I hope I said that right. So I enjoy this. I'm anxious to melt this. So this is Blueberry Pancakes. <laughs> so thank you, Letitia. I'm pretty sure that's how you'd say that. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then old and new. Shoot, I need. To, I broke this rubber band. I need to tie it so I don't forget to keep these together. Which, if I'm using my notebook, I shouldn't. But if I grab and go, I might. Um, oh, you guys. <laughs> I need to take some more Sudafed. <laughs> um, on the 29th, old and new. Make say familiar with a new scent. And so I picked um, a new scent is going to be Simply Patchouli from Scentsy. It's in the Bring Back My Bark now January 1st. And an old Bring Back My Bar scent, um, Zeppelin. So I thought this would be a fun, like, this is a masculine cologne. And I thought, like, another cologne scent mixed together. It smelled really pretty when I put them up to each other. So I think that's going to be fun together. So I'm doing Zeppelin and Simply Patchouli together um for old and new mix and then it says going south dream big with something tropical or starts with tea so the one place my dream vacation in the whole wide world <laughs> is Bora Bora so I picked Bora Bora Blossom that's where I wouldn't go if I ever get to pick my vacation destination Bora Bora and I love this to me it smells 
almost identical to um, Showered in Flowers by Scentsy um, from the Taste, no, the Happy, something Happy Collection. <laughs> Anyways, this is my tropical scent. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, it says, the 31st, last call, melt any bring back my bar or a scent that starts with B. I picked two, a charmy. <laughs> um, I picked a bring back my bar. I only had three cubes of this, so I wanted to use up bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S from Scentsy, the January 1st, bring back my bar. It's amazing. It's like banana and coconut. It's banana, coconut milk, and vanilla. It's like banana Laffy Taffy and coconut milk. It's phenomenal. I love, love, love it. And um, Sassy Girl Aroma. Here's another chocolate mint. <laughs> Bonnie and Todd. Peppermint cocoa, hot cocoa, coffee, and whipped cream. So a couple days, it's going to be like all chocolate minty. <laughs> but I'm anxious to melt these, you guys. So thank you for bearing with me and my illnesses and... Dale's coughing. <laughs> We're trying to get well, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful New Year's. Um, I hope that you'll participate in the Melting Challenge. Thank you, Patricia, for doing this. All the great prompts and ideas. I love being creative with all of these. Um, I'll probably do the things until I feel better before I start chopping things. Um, so I'll probably get to the, the clams and things first. The snap bars, um, the things I can just pick and go. Um, but I was trying to think of my word for the year. And last year I picked um, prosperity. <laughs> and it's funny. Like I was thinking like money. Because <laughs> 2023 was a struggle for me. Um, I feel like I failed at life. <laughs> I wasn't able to do things that I was able to do in 2022. So I, I was doing bingo and stuff for my customers. I struggled to do that. I couldn't buy all the warmer and scent of the month. You guys, I don't ever consider anything. I don't want to be better than anybody else. Nothing is a competition to me. But I want to join in on the fun. Um, I want to buy all the fun things. And I want to try all the new things. And I want to show all the warmers. And not because it's a competition to me. But because I want to have fun too. Like, I want to see what they're like. Um, you know, I want to try all the scent of the months. So I want to do all the... Um, samples and all that stuff and it's never competition I don't ever want to be any better than anybody else um I just want to have fun too so um I just feel like you know I was doing seven of the month now it's a struggle for me um to buy all the things like I just can't buy all the things I can't keep up with all the sensey stuff it's just hard um so I, I picked prosperity and you know, it's funny. If you're not real super specific, it's a word for the year. God to like, or the universe or whatever. Um, I, I choose God, but, or if you're not into God, the universe, whatever, whatever you believe, um, it's your life journey. You know, we each have to take our own path. So I judge no one. Um, it's funny because I, I had prosperity, but it was in friendships. It was in kindness. It was you guys sending me friend mail with like 60 some bars of a hey, tiger lily. It wasn't exactly the prosperity I was talking about, but you guys like what a blessing. It's funny. God, it's like he honors things, but sometimes not always the way that you think he's going to do it. And no, I've just, I feel like I've gained so many friends and so many relationships and, um, so much kindness and, I mean, that wasn't the prosperity I was thinking. I thought, oh, I'm gonna, you know, but granted, I know life is about stuff and things. I just, I want to be like, you know, I want to have fun too. I want to try all the new things and that's all it is. Um, I want to try all the new vendors. I want to, you know, but then I have a plethora of sassy girl well and then I changed my word of the year to money <laughs> um fortune and I did get that but I got that in the way of overtime at work and then I was like exhausted and yeah it helped me buy 
tons of sassy girls, some like new vendors like Knowles Farm Scents and Lavender and Speckles. And um, my goal this year is to try um, Second and Spruce, like actually purchase from them and maybe try another new vendor. Um, I'd like to purchase from Salt Mountain Melts. I'd like to purchase from Teddy Bees, but who knows, you know? Um, the overtime isn't what it was. So it's like, well, do I pick money or fortune <laughs> again? Um, as my, but then I'm like, do I really want the, the overtime and the exhaustion that comes from that? So I don't know, you guys, I don't, I haven't, I think I pick miracles, um, as my word of the month <laughs> or word of the month. <laughs> Word of the year, like maybe miracles. Maybe that's a good one to start the year off with, you know. The things that exceed your expectation, which trust me, the prosperity of last year and the fortune and I just, I, I wanna keep doing stuff around the house. Like I wanna buy wallpaper and someday I'd love to do flooring and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I mean, I'm struggling with what word do I pick for the year? Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, and you can always change it. It <laughs> seems to God, the universe, you know, all that stuff brings you. I shouldn't say that when I say God, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. Um, fate, <laughs> karma, I don't know. Um, whatever that brings, maybe I'll do miracles first and then change it. Six months in, I don't know. But I have goals um, for 2023 or 2024. Oh brain forgive me I don't feel that good <laughs> I still put on makeup and <laughs> got, like wear my new year's sweater <laughs> um but my goal is to get rid of I have so many partial claims you guys and I'm like I need to stop hanging on to like 8,000 partial claims <laughs> like I just I need to declutter that um so that's what my goals maybe try some new things um and then I have like personal goals, but uh, yeah. So try to think of a word of the year, you know, kind of like Dan said in his, I've been doing it for a couple of years now. I think it was Jackie, Jackie Duran. Um, and I followed ever since I started Sensi in 2020. Um, I was watching a lot of her YouTube and she's very inspiring. Um, so I love Jackie Duran and all of her stuff. So she's the one that got me started on that and like 2021 I started out with growth and that's when I gained several people underneath me um I mean obviously you, you know people do what they I mean it's their business they do what they want to do with it and I mean that didn't get off the ground very far but that's okay it's no big deal um it wasn't why I picked growth <laughs> but I mean, it was cool, you know, I, that's the year I did super, s no, star, um, consultant. So I'm still just a star. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. Um, so the following year is like, I just want to try to do all the things in 2022 and then, yeah. So I don't know. I still want to think about it. <coughs> <coughs> and I also have not been very good at keeping track of what happens every month. Um, not only on my VIP page, um, because life gets away with me, um, but just for my year in review, I want to keep better track. So I want to keep a planner of all that stuff and like the vendor releases and all that stuff. So I bought a planner to do that and keep track every month of that kind of stuff. So yeah, you guys, um, yeah. So I hope you guys have an amazing, 2024 a happy new year um and god bless and um may you have many blessings the way that you guys have blessed me over the past um 2023 year um I, I it was beyond my wildest dreams you guys and i just i treasure each and every one of you and um thank you um for joining the journey with me and um i look forward to wonderful new things in 2024 so bye